Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material design. In this series we are learning about Android material design animation. I'm Annie from SmartHerd. In the previous video we had learnt about the touch feedback animation that is provided with material theme. The material theme also provides various default activity transitions. In this video we will be starting with the activity transition that is provided by the Android material theme. So let's begin with the activity transition. What activity transition is all about? The activity transition in material design app provides visual connection between the states through the motion. It also provides the transformation between the common elements. We can specify custom animation for transformation between two common elements or we can also provide a visual connection between two activities. We can classify the activity transition into the shared element transition, entry transition and exit transition. Let's begin with each of them step by step. The shared element transition determines how views that are shared between two activities transits between these two activities. Let me explain you with an example. On the left side of the screen you can see the contact list that is provided for an Android device. For each contact we have an image view and a text view and on clicking this contact list the image view and the text view takes different place in the other activity. Thus the shared element transition determines how the views take different places or share the activities when they change from one activity to other. About the enter and exit transition we will be learning about it in further videos. In this video let us continue with shared element transition. For the shared element transition we need to follow certain steps. The first thing we need to do is we need to enable window content transition in the theme. I'll show this to you while demonstrating the Android application so you need not worry as of now. The next step we need to follow is specify a shared element transition in the style. The next step will be to give common name to the shared elements with Android transition name attribute that is the transition name attribute of the elements that will be sharing the screen will have the same transition name. The next step will be defining the activity options class. This class is responsible for enabling the animation between the activities. Let's move to Android Studio and begin coding. Here I had shown you the main activity that we will be having for the demo throughout the series. These are the elements that we will be using for the shared elements. Now I have an image view here, a text view and another image view. You can see I have defined this here in the linear layout. In the linear layout I have defined the image view, the text view and again the image view. Now let me show you the demo that we will be having. On clicking this linear layout we will be moving to another activity that will be having the text view, both the image view and we also have a text view and a button here. On clicking the back icon in the navigation menu we move back to our main activity. On pressing the exit button it happens the same. So now let me explain you the base application setup that I have made for the shared element transition. As I already said you I have defined this linear layout having the image view, the text view and another image view. On clicking this linear layout the method shared element transition will be executed. This shared element transition method I have defined in main activity.java. We will be writing the codes to execute the shared element transition in this method. Now moving back to activity main.xml in the image view I have given this transition name as logo shared for the image view. For the text view I have given the transition name as smart herd shared and for the second image view I have given the transition name as profile pic shared. On clicking this linear layout we move to the second layout. 
The second layout I have defined as activity shared element.xml. In the activity shared element.xml, I again have the text view. In the previous activity, I had named it as smart heart shared and here again the transition name is same for the text view. And for both this image view, again I have the transition name as logo shared and the profile pic shared. This is what I was talking about the transition name in both the XML resource file has to be same. I have defined an extra button and a text view here. This button will take me to the previous activity and this text view is just for the demonstration purpose. Now let me close this XML files. Moving to main activity.java, I have defined both the image views as image logo and image profile pic and the text view as txv shared. These are the elements that we will be sharing between both the activities. I have also created a shared element activity.java class. In the shared element activity.java, I have defined the window transition. This is what the first point that I was speaking about. Get window.request feature window.feature content transition. We have to define this window transition in the onCreate method before super.onCreate save instance state. The shared element activity.java will implement activity shared element XML file. Now in the init page function, I have defined the toolbar here and set its title as shared element transition. The button which I had defined there, I have named it as button exit and on clicking the button exit, I have defined the set on click listener. On clicking the exit button, the finish after transition function will be executed. I have defined this function for the navigation icon too. On clicking the back icon in the navigation menu, the finish after transition method will be executed. In the Android manifest file, I have defined the shared element activity because if I don't define this here, we will get the error as activity not found. You can try this practically by not defining the activity in the Android manifest file and see the error. Now let us write the code in main activity.java's shared element transition function. But before that, I had said that we can define this window transition in the Java file or in our theme. In the theme file, let us see how we can define it. In the values folder, moving to the styles.xml file, we can see this. We can enable the window transition either by specifying it here or in the activity. I have shown you how to define it in the activity. If we don't define there in the activity, we also have an option to define the window content transition as true in styles.xml. But now, since we have it there, we can just comment it. Moving back to main activity.java, now let us begin writing the code. So we are done with enabling the window transition in the activity and we have also defined the transition as the XML resource. The last step that is left is to use the activity option class which is responsible for executing the animation. Let's begin. Now we can see the make scene transition animation can be of two types depending on the argument that it takes. The first one takes the three parameter, the first one being the activity for which we are defining the shared transition. The second one is the view shared element and the third parameter is the shared element name. We use the first one when there is the single element that we need to share between the activities. But here, since we have three views, that is the two image view and a single text view, we will be using the second type of make scene transition animation function with the two parameters. First one is the activity and second one is the pair of the shared elements. We will be giving the first parameter as this, that is the activity and the second parameter will be the pair of the elements that will be shared. Now let us define this pair here. Because we have three elements, let us make this pair as an array. Now this pair takes two parameter. First is the view and second is the name. View refers to the element and the 
string refers to the name of the element. Our first element is image logo which I have defined there before the onCreate method and the second one is the name of this element that we had given in the transition name. The transition name for this image logo I had given as the logo shared. Same way we will define the other two pairs of elements. This way you can define as many view as you want and as you need. Now we have this pair for the activity options. The next thing we need to do is set this option for transition. So what this statement does is it will move from main activity dot this to shared element activity dot class when this transition is executed. Now we need to combine this intent variable and the activity options variable. So now it seems we are good to go. The pair 0, the, this has to be 1 and this 2. Now let us run our application and see. Here it is up and running. Now on clicking this, yes, our shared element transition is working. We can see this both image view takes this place and the text view which is in between the image view have made transition from in between this to the top of this. On pressing the back icon in the navigation menu, we move to the previous activity and the finish after transition is executed. On clicking the exit button, the same happens. This was the shared element transition that we learnt about. In the next video, we will be learning about implementing the circular reveal transition in this shared element transition and see how it works. It's quite easy and nothing to worry about. That's all for this video. Stay tuned and have a good day.